Welcome to this video tutorial in which we're going to explain the uh, technical aspects of the package uh, we are selling in, in the asset store that is called the World Localization GPS Multiplayer. So the first thing I am going to show is the multiple localization scene. So go ahead to scenes and open your multiple localization and hit play. So in fact, our idea was to create the basic uh, scripts and um, assets for you in order to uh, place different markers in this uh, um, Earth model, that you can see, in which uh, players are going to appear in function of their um, GPS values or maybe if you want to um, directly introduce the values of the latitude and longitude, okay? So, as you can see, this is the, uh, the main um, scene and the main uh, part of our project is going to be focused on explaining how this is working. So, um, go ahead in the hierarchy and go to Earth and you will see the main um, scripts there. So, we have the outer rotation. Here you have uh, three values for speed. So, in fact, now we're just rotating our Earth uh, in the Y axis, but if you want to change it, you can go ahead and and change the value of, of x to 1, for example, and you will see the difference. Okay, so this is really easy to understand. It's just a script that is going to uh, make our Earth rotate in one direction or another. So um, I think that is explained. Uh, so you can see now that the Earth is rotating in a strange way, you know. Okay, but it's just to showing you uh, that you can change the different rotation in, in case you want to add another texture. If you don't want to use the planet Earth, if you want to use other thing, you can do it. Okay, so um, the second uh, script, I'm going to close this one, is the multiple localization script. So, in fact, this is going to be the one in which you are going to uh, introduce each element you want to uh, show, okay, uh, in, in the Earth. So... Um, here you have the size of this marker latitude longitude that in fact is just a vector 2 as you can see and uh, by changing this value here you will be able to add uh, more elements okay so for example if you want to add another element you go ahead and you, you choose uh, 21 and you will see that um, the element 20 has been added so here you can say uh, let's put it next to Spain so you can you can see the difference uh, after we're going to put it there and you know, this is in degrees, so it's going to be the latitude of 40 degrees and the longitude of minus 1. So, in fact, if you focus on the Earth now, you will see that the zero, zero is more or less here, is the equator, and uh, the the zero longitude is going to be the, the uh, Greenwich meridian, so it's in this point here. So, by saying 40 uh, minus 1, we will be probably here, so we'll add something, some marker here at the end of of this process um, so this is the first thing you have to do you have to change the markers latitude and, and longitude and add another value and then you go to colors and we're going to do the same thing we're going to hit uh, 21 and we're going to add another one and we're going to put it in a white color so we can easily detect it okay so in fact I repeat we are adding a new marker that is going to be a new player in your game with a different color okay and as you can see you can call this function and program it from your scripts directly so this is going to be like the manager of the players that are going to be connected at once okay um, the other thing is the marker so if you want to change your marker, my, marker type you just go here to the prefab and you add another one a different one here we have this um, simple sphere with the uh, the growing effect that simulates like a, a, a beacon. So uh, if you want to change it, you just add your own model there and you will be able to change it. And um, finally, the, uh, the air R is going to be just the, the distance from the center of the Earth. So in this case, it's 0 0.01. That is the one that allows us to put things on the surface. Okay, so I think that is more or less clear. Um, I'm going to hit play to show you how the the latest marker has been added. So let's just wait for it. Okay, so I'll repeat, there is a marker. Okay, so you can see it there. It's, there is a white marker next to uh, to the red one. Okay, and and it's. Um, is at uh, 40 uh, 
minus one, okay? So I'm going to put it just as it was before, so I don't forget it. Okay. Okay, so I want to put this to 20. And the other one to 20 again. Oops. I... Okay, remember we have to to um, ar arrays. So the first array uh, is going to be the uh, latitude and longitude, and the second one is going to be the colors. Okay. So uh, once this is explained, um, let's just go really fast to the code and show you a little bit how things are programmed. Um, I'm going to start opening it, opening it while I'm I'm doing other things. So let's open it. Okay. Let's wait for it. <clears throat> so as I said in the promo video, that is the first video that is in the asset store. Uh, you can totally customize everything because you can change your um, your prefab. And by changing this, is going to be automatically updated into your game. You can also go to the textures and say, okay, we don't want this earth texture. You can go ahead and change it also. Um, as well as the skybox at the at the background, you can go ahead and change it. So everything it's it's easily changed um, uh, in the in the editor mode. And um, if you have other um, ideas and you want us to develop them for, for you, please contact us. We have the uh, email support on the description of this package and we will be glad to help you with that. Let's see if the uh, mono level up is opening. Okay, I'm going to open uh, the other scene while I'm waiting for the mono develop to load. So that was the um, the multi multiplayer multi cursor uh, scene. Okay. So um, just to show you how the script the script works. Here we have the public uh, variables that you can see here, the ones that I have explained on the editor mode, and then on the start. Okay, we create for each of of um, these the points or the players that are inside this marker uh, light long we are creating um, a game object in which we are uh, setting uh, inside the own script the value for the latitude and longitude okay so in fact this marker positioning script that you can also open okay that is in scripts marker positioning it's a script that is inside the the marker, okay, in the prefab, in the marker, you have that script here, okay, that has just the latitude, longitude, and uh, the radi, and the color, and then um, in a reference to an image, and this mesh renderer here, okay, the image, it's inside of, of the canvas. So in fact, the image here, okay, that is inside the canvas, is that um, growing effect, okay, that um, beacon effect. Okay, and, um, once we are creating each of, of those markers, you, you can see that we are assigning to the latitude and longitude the values of, of um, the vector 2. And we use those values here to uh, position the marker. Okay, You can see that we are calculating the um, Cartesian, Cartesian um, coordinates from the spherical uh, latitude and longitude, longitude and the ready. Okay? So it's really simple. The scripts are really easy to understand. Uh, but nevertheless, we are creating some powerful tool in order to, you, that is going to allow you to show the position of the players uh, during gameplay. Okay. So uh, to finish, um, just say that you have another scene that is GPS localization in which um, the things are going to work really uh, similar to uh, the first scene. But in this case, we have just a player. And it's um, an example of how you can use the G GPS values to update the position of the player in the map. So, um, of course, it's not going to, to uh, um, be working on your uh, PC. You will have to uh, create the APK and export it into your uh, mobile phone in order to test it. But uh, as you can see, um, we have um, I enumerate, enumerator check GPS in which what we are doing is just um, checking uh, the connection with the GPS and then updating the values of latitude and longitude that you can see here. Okay, 
So, um, thanks to this information, okay, and uh, thanks to this call in the fix update that you can see that is exactly the same as as I saw uh, as we saw in the market positioning. We are updating the position of this player uh, using the GPS values. So you have like this the tool to verify um, how the marker is placed. Okay, so if you want to adjust the bug uh, on your PC, okay, on the editor mode, you you will be able just to uh, set manually because the GPS is not working. Okay, uh, on your PC, um, okay, you, you can see that by default it goes there, but you can go ahead and uh, manually change the uh, latitude and longitude. And you can, like this, you can also verify that um, that things are working well, that the uh, the world is well uh, referenced. And um, let me just show you where you can do it. So in this scene, you go to Earth, and inside Earth, you have the latitude and the longitude here. So you can go ahead and change it to 60, for example, and you will see that the point changes okay, from one position to another. So. This is pretty much it about this package. Um, I repeat uh, what I said at the beginning of the tutorial. If you have any uh, question regarding the package, we have a really uh, complete um, customer support. We usually um, answer your messages in uh, less than 24 hours or 48 hours, depending of, on the day. <clears throat> so um, I encourage you to ask as many questions you want. Um, we are here for that. We are going to to share our um, ideas and our knowledge of, of this package with you if you, if you want. And um, please um, support our, our job because we are we are trying to build this uh, new stuff um, just to help users to uh, to have the tools to to um, build their games faster because that's the aim of all this okay so thanks for watching and uh, as i said um, try try considering supporting our job thanks